am I the asshole for not getting my wife anything for Valentine's Day? Let me let me ask the audience. Let me ask the audience. Naturally, I have been having such a bad streak of not getting rest, but we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that, okay? I do have a vacation coming up, and I'm probably not gonna sleep on that. Or maybe I will. Maybe I will get rest. But if you click in on today's video, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a Zan Judas tea episode, and this is episode. 15 i think and i wanted to switch it up i wanted to switch it up today we're gonna do our makeup while we do this because i just think that'll be so much fun and um why not why not you know what i'm saying but we still got our little our little um I'm trying to think i have this this mirror i'm like do i put it here do i put it there you know what i'm saying guys mm. This is what my hair looks like if you ever wonder while it's air drying. But I gotta stay in front of the mic, so like, I don't know. It is what it is. What do you think? I think I'm getting my hair ready for makeup time. Yeah, guys, what is new? If this is your first time seeing me, I do hair videos and life advice videos. And today, we're doing. <laughs> we're doing, um. A life advice episode but um yeah this is my danger does tea series if i'm whispering a little bit i just like to be what is it courteous to the people who live with me but jesus let me see this is my first time doing this guys jesus sorry so the point of this series is you know this is a advice series but because i'm a smaller channel i don't really get submissions like that but if you want to be a submitter the email will be on the screen below throughout the episode well, i'm out of breath i'm just excited actually let me do this real quick hold on so I'm get this on my hair. sorry guys i am having a day i'm gonna try this this um aussie instant freeze gel and i better do something i better not flake because i'm gonna be pissed because i gotta film tiktoks today but yeah guys sorry about the whispering like i hate whispering into the mic because it's like you know what i'm saying like i want to give y'all like yes period yeah this is your first time seeing me this is my advice series and then i also post hair videos what you're seeing is the result of my big job and yeah guys it's all me all me look wait let me show y'all hold on yeah come on come on period if this is around Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're spending it with someone special. I love Valentine's Day so much. Because, like, Valentine's Day isn't only about... So I have to be really, like, particular about this because my hair dries quick. So if I clip it funny, it's going to look crazy as fuck. Like, trust me. Trust me. Um, okay. So we're gonna get my hair out of the way so I can do my makeup. But um, yeah, guys, happy Valentine's Day! I hope you're spending it with someone special, and I just feel like Valentine's Day is just. By the way, I'm getting started my makeup, but I just feel like it's just could be celebrated with family, siblings. Like it doesn't have to be a significant other, but I do got a man. Oh Maggie, um, but yeah, um, this is my advice series. This is your first time here again me saying it for the 18th time i do submission advice but because i don't get submissions just yet because i'm a smaller channel i resort to good old reddit good old reddit and um i do make sure that these stories that these stories can be used like you know because sometimes people don't know this but you cannot grab any story from reddit and just read it like you know what I mean? But, um, I don't think that y'all really care for a 
list of what i'm using but if you do comment that down below because i don't mind giving it to you this is my everyday makeup and i'm not even gonna explain it all i'm just like you know just doing it uh, i try my best to get valentine's day inspired stories so we're gonna read those um but i've always loved valentine's day and i love pink red all that stuff so i'm just a sucker for that but let's get started i'm gonna try to read and do my makeup at the same time so wish me luck you guys but um i always say make sure to watch the video all the way through before clicking off or you know give me a chance and then be like all right i'll subscribe to her or if you didn't really want to subscribe but you like my vibe you just give the video a like at least so that we can push this video up to you know people that want to see stuff like this but yeah my ultimate goal is to get off of reddit and then just go based solely off of submissions but of course like i can't the reason i use reddit is to show y'all what i how i give advice or my advice style you know what i mean so with that being said i want to start off really light and this is something i haven't done before but this one is like a thread a thread right and this one is says from your personal experience of being on a bad date what are some things you shouldn't do when you go on one take a minute and comment down below what are some things you shouldn't do when you go on a bad date i have been on some bad dates in the past um they weren't like horrible like i love crying kind of but it was given like oh my god what was that like i was wasting my time that was weird it's usually like guys being weird to me after <laughs> you know it's really just a bunch of men just not knowing what they want oh my god i feel like i'm gonna like find this so poorly ciao do y'all see my acne like lately i'm just having adult acne and i was like am i pregnant or something like what's going on like and then i looked in uh, you know i took a test or whatever sorry if it's t tmi but i ain't and i ain't wishing that for me right now because it's like we're not really financially ready for that but i was like am i pregnant or something like what the fuck because i don't really have acne issues so when i seen that i was like you know what i mean like why not because that's what they say like you start getting acne headaches morning sickness I'm always having all that bullshit. So I was like, wait. But no, it turns out the weight gain is just because I'm eating too much food. So. <laughs> Help. Let's read. What time are we say? Some things not to do. Don't spend the whole time babbling about yourself without letting your day get a word in. Yeah. And if you feel like you're the only one pulling the conversation, then just truly wrap it up. Wrap it up. Get to go boxes and be like, yeah. I gotta go see my grandma, actually. I forgot I have to help her with something today. <coughs> I'd be the first to say that. Used to say that. Because it's like, what the hell are we doing? And I've been on dates where, like, nobody's talking. And I can talk. I can talk on dates. But when I'm really nervous, it's like, because I'm really nervous. <laughs> but I've never just gone, like, you know, point blank silent. Someone said, don't be hammered. Yeah. Because it's given, like, do you have a drinking problem? There was one time this guy I was talking to. He's my coworker. Don't talk to your coworkers. And fuck him. If he watches my shit, fuck you. You know who you are. You're a piece of shit and you're gaslighting. But he was like, should we go out to get a drink? So I was like, okay. And I asked for a pair. So I was like, the fuck? Like, I can't just go out to drink with you every fucking time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't go home drunk. He always want beers and shit. And I was like, ew. Like, are you old? Like, it's giving beer belly. It's giving grandpa. It's giving old man. Sorry. Like my man now he drinks, but like not every fucking time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, it's just corny. Like something about a guy that only drinks beer, it's like Ew. Ew. And like we're in our mid twenties, like relax. Relax. Why are you acting like a viejo? Like what is that? I feel so sorry guys, my mic is in my way and I'm trying to like my face and i feel like i'm definitely gonna hate this angle on camera but whatever sometimes you can't do everything you want you know what I'm and if you hear that bumping it's just like the products hold on i was about to get real dusty i wonder if y'all could hear that this episode is giving i'm just doing my makeup and i'll talk to you matter of fact y'all should just grab y'all makeup and do it with me 
because I think it's going to be a long, it's going to be a long Vanjie Dose too, is what I think, because you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, also, who is able to do their makeup with their going out clothes, like, please comment below and tell me how y'all are able to do that, because I'm always doubting myself when I'm doing my makeup, but, you know what I'm saying, made this whole episode, you know what I'm saying, okay let's read some more <laughs> really graphic sex jokes the entire time is very awkward yeah what the fuck i've dealt with that too and that honestly is just so dehumanizing it's so corny it's like move like are you that desperate that that's all you can talk about is sex like that was such a big thing when i was younger like that's all guys used to talk used to talk about and i guess that's just how all guys are at a certain age but um let's read one more and then let's just start with our first story don't spend the whole date looking at your phone if i'm on a date with you i want to talk to you yeah period like why the fuck are you on your phone okay here's another good list don't drink too much don't talk shit about your ex don't flirt anyone else yeah don't try to touch someone else don't touch me if my body language is giving you no oh my god that happened to me before i was like ew don't make passive aggressive compliments don't send a message saying how the date could have been better hmm. if you're a girl bring your own con i mean you know do what you gotta do and don't insult your date and don't argue with the professionals that you're out with like waiters and stuff yeah because ick ick when people do that okay let's start with our first story of the day ashy lips and all it's the first story is titled does anyone else feel worse after a good date than a bad date i recently went out with a guy and i thought we had an amazing time seriously it was one of the best first dates i've ever been on i normally don't sleep with guys on the first date but we were having such a great time that i decided to just go with it he never called me again this is why i don't do that because you're not about to use me and then no he never let me on or said anything that could be misconstrued so i'm not angry and i don't hate him or even hold this against him i also don't blame this on me having sex with him on the first date my real question is um i legit thought that we there was a connection and apparently there wasn't any <sighs> when i get home from a bad date or i end a long-term relationship i'm okay i realize that it wasn't meant to be and i move on and put myself out there again However, with this great date, that will never happen again. I find it hard to dust it off and try again. I'm starting to give up on finding someone. I don't know if I want to keep trying. Why is this? Has anyone else felt this way? How do I move on from this? Also, this isn't my the first time I've been rejected, so I don't think it's just that. I think it would be nice to know if other people have ever felt this way. Thank you for reading. Okay. First things first is like... I always feel like y'all go on these dates and you don't, things like this happen and y'all don't communicate and y'all are too scared to just ask what the hell happened. You know what I mean? Like, just be like, hey, what happened? And like, you wasn't feeling me or what? And then he'd be like, you thought I was feeling you? And sometimes I just want y'all to like communicate and just speak up. Cause trust me, like, it's nothing wrong being like, hey, um, it doesn't get thirsty. Cause honestly, in the real world, like, that's just fucked up. You know what I mean? It's like, hello like what happened the fuck you know you don't gotta come off like that but oh my god i hope y'all are not judging my makeup skills but it's like honestly in the real type shit like you're not gonna just use and that's the thing too it's like respect yourself you're not about to just use my fucking body i mean hey maybe you used his body i don't know but at the end of the day communication guys like we're all human just say hey what happened just ask sometimes it's better to ask and just see what the hell happened and sometimes people be like oh i thought she would never ask but she you know what i'm saying it's like yeah he could have been like hey sorry i didn't hit you up because xyz or he could have been busy the next day or whatever but he could still be courteous and be like hey i had a good time i don't know really feeling it like it's nothing against you i just realized i missed my ex or some bullshit you know what i'm saying but let's see what people said in the comments does anyone else's knows start doing that when you're doing your makeup like over here snotting and everything someone said the same thing the same exact thing happened to me a couple weeks ago probably the best date i ever had i slept with him he told me he wanted to see me again and then nothing i'm confused by it yeah someone said do you ever try to talk to him about it 
Um, he told me he was sick. He said, you only got two options. You ask him or you know. That's the, yeah. At the end of the day, you know, they're going to say the same thing. Like, just ask. You know, y'all just got to ask. Hey, what's going on? Can y'all tell me, did I put call time on my nose or not? I, I don't remember if I did. Oh, no shoot. So I did. I'm a little bronze. When I come back from my trip, I won't even have to do that. I won't even have to do that. Sometimes y'all just, you gotta speak up. Sometimes you just gotta speak up. Because that's just how men are. Sometimes, sometimes they're waiting for you to just hit them up first. Because everybody's so fucking scared of being the first person to hit up whoever. Like, bro, just, y'all put y'all privates instead of each other already. Like, just do it. Like, what are we talking about? Like, that's just how I see it. You know what I mean? just already did it this is really fun i feel like i want to do more episodes like this this giant lip is probably gonna piss me off when i'm editing next story mm. 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 all right now title of this is a little a little spicy am i the asshole for not wanting to spend valentine's day with my girlfriend's best friend comment down below comment down below i 22 female have been dating my girlfriend okay um my girlfriend for three months they're the same age um i've been really happy with how it's going and i'm excited to see the evolution of the relation every time we had an issue until now we have been able to both be understanding and find a common ground i also want to preface that my girlfriend is very loving and caring as i am too flower surprises okay lots of romance i love that despite our busy schedule it's really good nevertheless one week ago she asked me out of the blue if i wouldn't mind spending valentine's day with her best friend childhood best friend and that they always spent that day together nothing to say and i used the wrong brush for that this whole time hello like okay i'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt because this is her first relationship apparently i'm just gonna do this right now because i just can't they've been dating for three months and i'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and assume that she's just this is her first girlfriend and it's probably hard to and the tradition that did nothing i usually put a lip liner to avoid this like pale lip situation Ooh. oh i didn't do it in the color um okay period yeah oh, i forgot y'all was here hold on anyways um, yeah, I haven't finished the story yet, but it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, girl, leave the room. Once you get in a relationship, like, Valentine's Day is really about you and your partner. I mean, it depends on what y'all tradition is. Maybe y'all don't really care for it. Maybe y'all do, whatever. But also, y'all need to have um, a conversation about what the expectations are surrounding that holiday and with all holidays moving forward but she said they've only been dating for three weeks three months so it's like you know what i mean but it's the first valentine's day like no i don't care about your best friend i'm sorry move but let's let's hear it. let's hear why it's so important to them because like furthermore the day after that the best friend is leaving for an exchange so it'd be their chance to say goodbye to be honest i was pretty bummed out when i heard this i never got to spend valentine's day with someone and i already was planning something in my head nothing big maybe flowers a card chocolates and an evening together plus i'm not very close to the best friend i've only met her once um but i did not feel like they included me when they did Ooh. it was to question me very heavily to see if i would not break her breast with one thing about me is you're not gonna fucking interrogate me. One thing about me is you're not about to sit here like the fucking police. Are you fucking my girl, my partner, or am I? 
Like, I know my attention. What, what time are you on? Are you her parent? Get the fuck out of my face. I think somebody did try that in the relationship. And I was like, I don't like that bitch. She thought she ate. And now I'm here four years later. Because what are you really doing? You thought you were about to do something with that. Like, no. I know I ain't here to break nobody's heart. You check your boy. Is he going to break my heart? The fuck? Just want to see if she's a good pick for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What makes you the standard? That is sus as hell. For real. Comment down below what y'all think about that. Because one thing about me is like, what do you mean? It's one thing if like, who the hell just tried to call me? Where's my phone even? Bitch, you guys, it's like, what the hell? It's one thing for your parents to interrogate your partner. But when it's a friend, it's really weird. Like, that's weird as hell. Like, it's given... I have secret feelings for my part, my friend. Like I don't know. I just always felt that way. Like if I ever had a friend, if any of my friends were when I told them I was dating, you know, my man. If any of them was like, and they had reasons to because you know, they could have, but they could have been like, girl, I need to sit down with him. Just make sure he's not gonna break your heart. I'd be like, girl, back up. Like. My eyes twitching. Do y'all feel on camera? Like, I'm getting frustrated. You know, that's just the lack of sleep. But no, I'd be like, what? What are we talking about? No. Get out. No. 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 No, that's already bad enough. I, I think I can make this decision for myself. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too pretty and I don't know. But let's continue reading i'm doing my eyebrows so it's gonna be a little hard and the fact that they hung out and the girlfriend came and they excluded her like go date your fucking best friend bitch don't don't fucking treat me like a second option because i could take my ass home you know what i mean like why did they do you like that and i'd feel the same way i'd be like hello what the fuck like that was weird as hell Hold on, y'all, because I'm eating today. I was worried that the makeup would look a mess, but this is, this is cute. Is it good? <coughs> I'm like, what the hell am I wearing? What? How am I link with you and you left me? You left me to the side, like, what? Go, go date her. Like, why are you being weirdo? Leave me the fuck alone on everything. Oh, wow. Alright, listen here. Let's keep reading, ready? Also, like, you could say bye to your friend before I leave on a different day. It don't gotta be on Valentine's Day. Like, person. Person. They're definitely... If they're not doing anything together, they're definitely annoying and made for each other. Like, leave me the fuck out of that. You have a whole girlfriend. Like, act like you know. You know what I mean? Stupidity. Stupidness. Like, what? Alright, the rush. To mm, y'all, about to chisel these eyebrows. Y'all about to see it. Mm, mm. Let's finish the story because I'm doing the most. Like, this is about to be a long episode just because I'm mumbling. Fast forward to today. I decided. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, they didn't include me when they all hung out. So, okay, so the girlfriend was like, Is it a problem if I hang out with my bestie? Like, and then I guess the girl took the L and was like, It's not a problem. I understand speak up you're aggravating me speak up fast forward to today i decided to spend valentine's day with my sister and some single friends i'm so sad about it so i decided to talk to my girl to see if it was something she would budge on for the future yeah because we're not about to do this all fucking day no like let's be for real she got upset immediately and told me that she already made a lot of compromises to see me regularly and for once she wanted to do something with her best friend she added that she was planning to also do something just with me she hadn't mentioned it in our first convo i said everything that i wrote above adding that she could be with her bff but i wanted to be with people y'all heard her tone though like what the hell was that her tone was not getting like why are you yelling at me talking about i already made enough compromises like are we dating or are we fucking not like nobody's forcing you to date me if that's really how you're about to act talk about i just i've done enough for you i just want to hang out with my friend okay so go do that the fuck 
So the girlfriends are sulking, um, and the girl that wrote to me, like, should I just compromise and spend it with both of them or stand my ground? Okay, so here's what some people said. This is just a miscommunication. As a young couple, Valentine's Day is really fun for y'all, y'all. But considering she spent it with her best friend of all those years, she's definitely torn. It seems like she was trying to room, find room for all of it. That would be implied she's spending the day in two, but it wasn't. So you made plans as well. Not the asshole, because that day is for couples. But I get the fact that her best friend is leaving soon. You really care about this girl. Don't screw up the relationship. You can celebrate Valentine's Day whenever you like. Communication needs to be improved. And here comes this, this pick me. Why are adults going to adults still celebrating Valentine's Day? It's the dumbest holiday. Shut up. Some people like to celebrate it. What? Shut up. He said she is the house asshole for them. Okay, you know what? I will say the reason that I think it's not fair is because I feel like once you begin a relationship, certain things have to take the back burner. Now, I am not going to just dust my friends off because I have a man. However, it's like, okay, here's a compromise I would do, right? You join the tradition, but we're also going to do something together too. And, I mean, I'm really picky about dates and stuff, so I'd be like, I want to celebrate on Valentine's Day. Like, the fact that Valentine's Day this week is literally on a what? Fucking Wednesday? Like, ill, you know? My man work. And, sadly, we gotta just celebrate it early. And I'm gonna do my very best to be a mature young lady and not be upset if on Valentine's Day we can't do anything because it's the middle of the week, people be tired, and you know what I mean? And we would have already celebrated it early. And we're going on a cruise a week after that. So it's like, life is all about balance. And I am that kind of person, I don't know if you are too, where you just feel like the day of is super important. But as you become older, you have to realize, like, it can't always work out that way. Also, if y'all want to get mascara, fuck what I'm Michaela talking about. It's no shade. No shade, Michaela. She live in Boston too, right? Bye. It's a chatty episode for me. Guys, should I do more makeup ones? Because this is kind of fun. I loved it. The makeup is basically finished. The makeup is basically finished. Let me get the setting spray and then read our last story. And we'll wrap it up. Ooh, as y'all can see, I got that um fresh face mist spray look going. And not my camera on one percent. Like, be for real. We got one more story to read to get it together. Ooh. Ooh. All right, guys. So, yeah, I just feel like I think I gave my advice on this. I think I said my piece on that. What do y'all think? Comment down below. <sighs> that would that that would be my compromise. In a perfect world, I'd be like, can y'all just do it a different day? Whatever y'all gotta do on that day. Um, I don't know. And I might be having a selfish moment right now. I have selfish moments. I'm human. You're human. You know, whatever. This hair is really giving, guys. I'm so happy. What do y'all? What do y'all think? I should come over here with um my hair halfway dried again, cause this is eating. All right, last story of the day. Am I the asshole for not getting my wife anything for Valentine's Day? Let me let me ask the audience. Let me ask the audience. What do you mean? don't do me don't do her all right i am in trouble this week yeah you are because what are you thinking i'm in trouble this week and i'm not sure that i deserve to be i'm 35 female i did not get anything for my wife oh, okay we have another girls another girls moment okay so this is a two wives uh she didn't get anything for her girl this year hear me out told her in august that since i was going to be unemployed and going to law school full time the next three years that i wouldn't be getting her or anyone else presents for the next three years i mentioned it a couple times um she was then kind of mad at me for not getting her anything for christmas despite this but she got over it quickly monday morning i texted her happy valentine's day and just checking my charge and texted her happy valentine's day she leaves for work before i get up i did not get her any presents because I don't have any money. 
Uh, she got me a bag of jelly beans for Valentine's Day. I didn't need anything, but I thanked her anyway. She was very mad I didn't get her a gift for Valentine's Day. She said I could have just got her a small gift or something homemade. I told her it didn't even cross my mind as I don't have money for gifts, but I would do it in the future. I then made her a homemade card, but she said that didn't count because she had to ask. She knows I do not like Valentine's Day as it reminds me of school. When my school was shot up 2008, girl, what? Damn, what? It took a turn. What? whoa okay that i wasn't expecting all that um i also have a cold all week wasn't feeling well she's still mad at me and to the same point it's not thursday she says she wants to forgive me but is still upset me not getting her nothing makes her feel like i don't care i said i don't feel like i should have to apologize as i told her i wouldn't have money months ago all right i get the whole you're triggered and all and it was not a good time. Like, I'm so sorry about that. Um, please make sure you're in therapy because your girlfriend ain't going to heal you from that. And if y'all have kids, if y'all decide to go that route, you're not going to get your kids a little chocolate or something because of your trauma. Like, we got to think about something, you know. Um, I've always been that person that's like, I do sometimes have holidays where it's like the funds is low or the funds is good. When the funds is low, I'm still finding creative ways to give something because gifts don't have to be bought i'm a firm believer in that gifts don't need to be bought you can give her and make her something you know and i kind of agree with her she had to ask she kind of had to ask and he was like all right the fucking car like you know what i mean like some people aren't natural gift givers and they feel like the only way that they can give a gift is by buying one which that is just the reality some people are like that so um it's one, reprogramming your partner's brain. Two, reminding her that this is a trigger for you. Um, you're still kind of the asshole, though, because you could have said something. Did you at least text her Happy Valentine's Day? I don't remember if she did. Um, you can make her a brownies. Like, that. what does that cost? A dollar? Or ask her to lend you two bucks. Real quick, just two bucks. Just two bucks. Like, you know what I mean? Or who does the grocery shopping in the house? Like, if she does, like, can you get some stuff for brownies? Like, I'm just craving. Just, like, pretend. And then make them on Valentine's Day. You know, like, there's ways. There's ways. Paint a picture, draw a picture, pen, paper, pencil. You're in law school. Like, I know you got resources. Go to the school. See what you can find. You know what I mean? So, <sighs> The fact that she's willing to forgive you is very big on her and um i do get what she's saying like feeling like you don't care because it, that's just what it feels like for people who at least expect a gift on a certain holiday it's kind of like it's understandable when you don't want to buy something but the least you could do is an effort you know and that's at the end of the day that's what people really want people that are gift receivers like they love that as their love language we just want to see that you tried. Some people are really picky and they're like, I don't want that. Don't give me nothing. I don't, if it's not what I want, don't give me nothing. I, on the other hand, I'm like, if you give me whatever you can afford, I will make use of it. I've always been that kind of person. Like, girl, I'll make use of whatever you give me. So it's like, like, unfortunately, I do think you're the asshole. And I think you also need to go to therapy. And if she could visit for a session so that she can kind of understand why that's hard for you, I think that will also be very beneficial to the relationship. I feel for her and I think it does kind of suck because yes Valentine's Day is based on capitalism and whatever and all you do is go online that day and all you see is everybody shopping for gifts for their bays and you're like I want I want a hotel room with the rose petals what and then you forget about all the nice things your partner does for you like how they show you love in a different way so all that being said just sit down hear her out um and don't be so freaking negative like you don't need money to give gifts and i can already tell like because she got you jelly beans and i'm sure she got you that like this really really small gift because she didn't want you to probably feel pressured to have to give her something big come on two plus two is what okay but i think you know she did she didn't really like the card if you could find something in the house to do if you're not a cook, get a friend to do something. Can you do me this favor and I'll pay you back when I got money again? Sometimes we got to do what we got to do. 
give her a massage is free what does she like to do watch a movie like you know what I'm saying? like there's a lot of things that you can do okay but if you're going to go see valentine's day i hope that you don't compare yourself to anybody you see online because that is just so harmful and i hope that you do do something fun whether that's with your bestie your mans your girls your partner your kids i hope it goes well for you i hope you like today's episode comment down below i might do this makeup thing again like this is really fun and it felt really nice and definitely a change of pace from my last episode because last episode I was falling asleep. But um, maybe we can do face mask and makeup. I don't. That's pushing it though. That's pushing it. That's pushing it. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you had a great Valentine's Day. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.